Good morning, Year 11 students. Today is the first in a series of study tips that will be shared weekly by your teachers of English. I am Mrs. Glory. We hope that you will find the reminders useful enough to begin applying the tips while preparing for your exams. And remember, these are fast approaching. We begin by looking at some strategies for paper two. If you are ready, let's begin. The first tip I would encourage is that you familiarize yourself with the format of all four sections. So let's look on the four sections. Section A, summary. Section B, exposition or transactional writing. Section C, story. Section D, persuasive writing. You have a suggested time of 40, 30, 45, 45 minutes respectively to do each section. The duration of the exam is two hours and 40 minutes. Word limits are very important. Let's focus on this. In section A, you're expected to compose five sentences on the lines provided, plus 120 word summary. For the five sentences, those are five main ideas that you would have extracted from the original piece. Section B, approximately 250 to 300 words. Bear in mind that you aren't normally given the number of words to be used. Section C, 400 to 450 words. Section D, 250 to 300 words. It's important for you to understand that you need to read the instructions carefully. So let us look on the question strategy. If you read the instructions carefully, it will give you a knowledge of what the paper requires. Section A, the exam asks you for five main idea sentences plus the passage retold in 120 words. Section B, the exam asks you to reorganize and report facts. Questions can be posed requiring you to create a memorandum, notice, article, email, complaint, or a report. Read the instructions carefully. In section C, the exam asks for short story based on a prompt from either a picture, title, or a sentence. You are given two options and you are to choose one question. For section D, the exam asks for persuasive writing. You could be given a speech, a letter to the editor, or an essay. Let's get to tip three. The final note. You cannot sort or memorize information. This is not an appropriate strategy year 11 for preparing for your exam. Instead, what you must do is practice fast paper questions. Use the links your teachers have posted in Teams to retrieve practice exercises. Timing, time is important. Time yourself for each section of the paper that you attend. Stop at the end of the allotted time and assess yourself. If you're not able to complete the task in that time, keep practicing until you are able to meet the time limit or get quite close. I hope that these tips have been useful and that you will begin to apply them. Happy studying!